Hi everyone, today I thought I'll do a catch-up video for February because the time is flying by. Um, I have actually filmed four weeks worth of videos and this is just one video that I'm coming in to film um, because I decided to give myself a little break from YouTube to be able to um, concentrate on um, you know branding and designing and all of that which has been very interesting process so you know there is more information to come but I can't tell you more than that just for now but like I said there are going to be uh, three videos every week the usual schedule uh, running up to the first week of March and after that I will be then starting um, filming again so that's just to let you know I mean nothing changes for you because you'll have still content as normal if I wouldn't tell you you wouldn't even notice so there will be a couple of watercolor um, illustrations I think there will be a haul and um, loads of different things so you should really have fun watching it and today I want to share a couple of things so first of all I wanted to share this nail polish which actually was sitting in the back of my nail polish cupboard and it's by Nails Inc and it's this latex effect so basically it's got a matte feel to it very smooth and I just love it I mean it's this color that I'm currently really really loving and the nail polish itself is really fun so the color is called Bermondsey Street so if you're interested I'll try to link it in down below if I can still find it and yeah really super fun it's basically the same texture as the cap is kind of this sort of um, like a latex uh, rubbery kind of smooth texture and I love it I love the fact that it's also matte it's really really fun okay over the weekend we popped in WH Smith so WH Smith um, here in UK is um, stationary kind of shop where you can get um, greeting cards you can get um, a little bit of like art supplies as well some paints um, you can get different newspapers magazines that kind of thing so there I noticed this Stabilo highlighter set it's the mini text marker and it's designed by Hannah Rabenstein I think so that's right here and the colors are really really fun so I'm gonna swatch a couple of them for you um, so it says here pasta love and I already opened it and I used a couple of colors not all of them but they're super fun because on one side it's the Stepilo Boss mini and then on the other side every marker has a little illustration which is quite fun so this one says beautiful adventure très chic hip hip hooray ahoy and wish so i think from the couple that i used yeah just use these three and this one hands down is my favorite but i have to say all of them are super delicious that's why i want to swatch them so i'm going to use the back of uh my kind of business insert this is where i'm working on designs and things so this is the kind of minty green and that's what it looks like all of them are pastel and i love it just love it I would say that all of them are pastels except for the yellow one um, but I do like the color quite unusual for a highlighter so these are the gorgeous colors you get in this set 
so I had two more deliveries these um, I ordered I think they they were coming from overseas so it took me a little while to receive them and so this one is the uh, mini stencil um, set by Tim Holtz and you get these three stencils so two of them are florals and one of them has this intricate design which looks quite nice so I'm looking forward to be using these stencils this is the um, Amy Tangerine puffy stickers it's the the heart uh, stickers which I have seen so many times and I had to get it and they're only a couple of pounds so they're not expensive you get 98 pieces but they are um, I mean you can see in a layout here they look super cute um, but yeah they're like hard to get here in UK so I had to wait for a good few weeks to get these you get two sizes and um, they're really fun. I love the coloring. I think except for the purple, if you take the purple out, that would be my perfect color scheme. The gray, the black, and the pastel kind of, you know, pinky, um, turquoisey, yellowy kind of colors. Super delicious. Love it, love it, love it. And I love this peach as well. Works so well. Let's talk about this book. So I popped in last night into TK Maxx. So I think in America it's called TJ Maxx. And they had this book which looked really good. So it retails for £9.99. But I got it I think for £3.99. And it's about unicorns. So I um, Mason actually likes unicorns. And... I asked him if, if he wanted this book and because I have thought it's beautifully illustrated and he said no he didn't want it so I ended up getting it for myself and I love the illustrations but I started reading it last night um, to him and he really enjoyed it as well so let me just show you um, if you are into whimsical illustrations I think you really would enjoy this it's so beautiful the colors and and the the style of it is gorgeous it's actually by, so it's written by Selvin Phipps, Phipps and then illustrated by Harry and Zana Goldhawk with additional illustrations by Helen Darvik. So these are the illustrators. Let me just bring it up. You can, you know, Google and see their work if you want to because they're really, really beautiful. And let's have a look. So... There were a couple here which were just stunning and so this is a bit of a different style but I thought it still looks nice. Like things like this, you know, these little corner illustrations, they're gorgeous. So the entire book basically concentrates on unicorns. It's like the unicorn society and different types of unicorns and where they live what they eat that type of thing which is very you know whimsical um as it is so there's this one which is the shadow knights and then these unicorns you can take a lot of inspirations from um kids uh, book illustrations i love this one this is gorgeous it's like a pattern illustration, but it's so vivid in color. That would look great um, to like photocopy and, and, you know, fussy cut. Then let's have a look. There are a couple more here, which are absolutely stunning. So this one is gorgeous. This is a watercolor illustration. And you can see that because the watercolors are actually blending and bleeding into one another. And it's that typical watercolor um, effect that you get here from all the blooming and all of that. So that looks gorgeous. Beautifully done. Very beautiful colors as well. And then there was this other one. So here's another one. A bit different, this one. This one looks like it's more kind of digitally done. So there's a mix of digital uh, as well as watercolor. So here's the watercolor again. Beautiful work. Look at this. I love this one. The red and the blue with the kind of like a um, tattoo almost looking type of thing with the patterns. 
looks so nice and this is beautiful this is more of digital again I guess there is a picture here a couple of pages actually where it says uh, unicorn food so this is when uh, it kind of tells you what unicorns eat um, <laughs> so this is quite sweet I thought red algae diamond leaf willow I wonder whether these are there's Arctic poppies I think they're also like created like fantasy um, flowers yellow and white orchids that obviously is uh, is a real one these help keep unicorns warm <laughs> so it's very very cute and you know like I said you can take loads of inspiration from that so it's kind of like a cute little you know happy illustration type of thing now this book I wanted or rather this magazine I wanted to share with you because there is a video either coming out soon or it might have been already published by the time you watch this video but basically I created a collage there from old magazine clippings and I picked up this magazine over the weekend um, Country Living is a magazine that I really really love it's one of my favorite magazines I love the colors the designs I take a lot of inspiration for decor and things like that so this is the March issue so I thought if you like it you might um, see it here and go and get it before it has um, before it has been sold out but it's um, because obviously spring is coming it's going to have loads of florals in there now I have gone ahead and taken out all of the ads but I left this one to show you because I um, worked with this type of an insert already it's a little magazine that has you can you can buy these like plants or seeds uh, from here but I love the pictures because they're small thumbnails and what you could do is you could fussy cut them and again use them for collaging or because they're all this in the same kind of size that works really well or what you could do you could fussy cut bigger pieces and use them in your journals if you can what you can do also is what I have done is take inspiration for watercoloring um, flowers so if I would find something I quite like I would watercolor it and that way like this is very pretty here that way you have like a picture to work from um, so sometimes you get the same flower but in different colors that's also quite useful um, I love this picture. It's so nice. It's um, different tomato shapes. And I love tomatoes that look like that. Like, you know, organic and kind of misshaped and just natural and beautiful. I love this type of thing. So um, could do like a little watercolor illustration from that. Also taking inspiration from nature and colors. So you can see how the purple and the kind of reddish orange works so well together so you could look at the color palette as well and that's basically something I would uh, keep um, until I use it up so don't throw this out because directly you can take inspiration from that by cutting things out or working with them so let's look at this magazine quickly um, I mean it has some beautiful decor style um, pictures and like cooking recipes all of that kind of thing which I really love um, table setting you know I love that when I'm setting the table I love kind of making things look pretty and um, again florals there's going to be a lot of flowers so this issue is great usually there are flowers but this one in particular I mean look at this this is just something you can trace Oops, sorry, it's a little bit off. Uh, so you could trace this one and then just completely and utterly watercolor it. It looks perfect. Or if you have a large enough um, journal, this cut out would look so good in it or even framed. This is just a beautiful picture that has no obstructions. There are no typings here, nothing. It's just perfect, little perfection. So you'll find loads and loads of inspiration. 
Um, so there you go, look how beautiful these are. And these are great size, so they're like probably about 10 centimeters roughly um, that you can cut out and again stick in your art journals, uh, do some journaling or fussy cut, whatever takes your fancy. But you know, there's loads of stuff. Um, there's going to be loads of like bouquet arrangement in the decor pages. Um, it's going to have loads of other things you can like imagine you can cut this part out and use it in a collage. You could cut out this um, chair and use it in a collage. Also because we live in the countryside, you know, I do love this type of style. This is looking gorgeous, love the colors. All right, so that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little kind of, you know, catch up um, video and don't forget to like it and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And thanks for watching. See you soon.